Welcome back, we're here looking at the indices and this is going to be my weekly forecast for December 12th to 16th, 2022. If you like to support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the Nasdaq and as you can see, we have basically been all over the place here in December. We're kind of just waiting for the announcement for the interest rates uh, decision from the US Fed. And that is probably going to um, give us um, give us a sign whether or not this is going to uh, rally or we break below the 200 moving average yet again. We have a trend line here and um, it kind of looks like we are most likely going to have a rally up towards this trend line if we're going to break to the downside. We need, it, uh, for, of course, to break above the trend line in order to go higher and also the 50 moving average. But the trend at this point looks like that in the long term, we are going to see the 50 moving average go this direction and the 200 moving average go in this direction. And that usually is a really, really bad sign when you have a crossing uh, of the 50 and the 200 moving average in, in the weekly chart. We have to go way, way, way back. We have to go back all the way down to the financial crisis back here in 2009 in order to see a crossing of the 50 and the 200 uh, for in the weekly chart, or we have to go all the way back to or to 2001, basically the dot com bubble, in order to see a crossing of those moving averages. So that's something that is uh, is very rare, and usually that means that we are heading into recession. And most um, economists, business leaders, and so on expect a recession in 2023. So it doesn't have to last that long. For a recession, usually lasts roughly to two years two to three years before it recovers you can see that it recovered very quickly after the in 2000 and 2000 uh, dot com bubble and also the financial crisis here in 2008 2009 so having that in mind if this is going to occur in the next uh, a few months it's probably going to happen in this in march in 2023 and until then we'll probably have a back and forwards a rally up towards the 50 moving average or the trend line that would make sense before breaking it down to the downside we were down in the nasdaq roughly 35 percent and if we have a crossing here wouldn't be surprised if we go to 50 or even in the worst case scenario to 75 percent uh, drop in the next few years if we look at the macd we can see that macd is still uh, bullish in, in negative territory, stochastic is bearish and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So let's look at the S&P 500. So S&P 500 has tested the 50 moving average, um, well, kind of three times in 2022. Here we broke above, then broke really hard to the downside, rally up towards the 50, broke really hard towards the 200 moving average. And now we're testing the two, uh, 50 moving average again, and it looks like we are yet again going to test test the 200, 200 moving average to the downside break it below the 20 simple moving average that opens the door really to the to the 200 moving average also here looks like 200 moving average is going to move in this direction 50 is going to move in this direction so very similar to the nasdaq around march next year looks like we are going to have a crossing of the 250 and long-term trend is going to be bearish um, uh, going forward if you look at macd is is still bullish in negative territory stochastic is also about to become bullish but still bearish and rsi is flat at this current stage we need to break above the 50 moving average in order to go high and considering that interest rates are most likely going to continue rising but not at the same rate hike uh, then we are most likely going to see a market that is continue going trend downwards so let's look at uh uh, Dow Jones. Dow Jones has been very, very bullish uh, recently. Uh, we have tested the 50 moving average twice or three times, you could say that, in 2022. And in both cases, this has dropped significantly. And at the moment, it looks like we are most likely going to do the similar here. So this probably won't will take longer for the 50 and the 200 in order to uh, cross each other. But if both of these indices are going to to have a downward spiral spiral and then this will most likely also have a downward spiral this counseling here is very bearish and usually there 
it's not going to be a massive rally after a candlestick like this. We saw it here, it broke down, we saw it here, it broke down, and just going um, on and on. These market, bear market rallies, they occur, uh, usually uh, quite a lot of them in uh, bear market, market, and that is just the name of the game. If you look at the MACD, you can see that it's still bullish. Stochastic is uh, bearish at this point, and RSI is flat, with a lot of room still to the downside. So let's look at the European market. This looks complete shamble in the weekly chart. Uh, it has been going all over the place, the DAX uh, for 2022, but still expectations is that this is going to continue going lower. We did have a crossing of the, we did not have a crossing even here in 2020 after the coronavirus, but it looks like this is going to cross going forward, indicating uh, bearish momentum and and uh, long-term expectations for the DAX is that it will continue uh, going down. Especially this is going to be a really hard winter. Um, consumer is going to be hit extremely hard due to the high uh, energy prices and therefore uh, earnings will go uh, down going forward and that will definitely affect stocks and also indices. So question is whether or not we are going to cross the 50 and the 200 uh, this year or that will just hover around here. If we break above the top here, then we may go higher, but it, we have tested that really often in the last few weeks. If you look at the MACD, it is still uh, bullish. Stochastic is bearish at this point and RSI is bearish as well. So 11.9 is the bottom. If we break below that, then 11.4, and then all the way down to 10.2, uh, and then down towards 8. So this market could, in 2022, uh, 2023, really uh, drop significantly uh, more to the downside. So let's look at uh, um, at uh, Nikkei. Nikkei has been trading in a range. range. Of the highs are roughly at 28, 29, and the lows are roughly 25. So we have basically tested the top of the range and I wouldn't be surprised that we go back towards the 25 range in the next few weeks. 200 moving average moving this direction, 50 is technically flat at this point. So it's far more resilient or range bound than the other indices. And the highs here have been quite reliant of basically shorting and the sell uh, buys have been reliable down here at the roughly 25. We did break below here. That was basically in the uh, not in the um, Ukraine war started. But otherwise, 25K has been the bottom of this market. The MACD is still flat at this point. The stochastic is also flat and RSI is also flat. So keep in mind this, if other indices drop, then this will most likely also drop. So the most interesting of this is basically the wix so wix has been trading for 2022 within this range which is roughly roughly the highs of the 36 very highs or 34 and the lows of roughly 2020 to 19. we are trading at this current stage of give or take 22 23. so we have tested the bottom, which was roughly down here around 2021. And uh, if indices are going to start falling again, then we'll mostly see the VIX go back towards the levels of here 30, 32 or 33, give or take. So this was uh, extreme because this was the, the start of uh, the Ukraine war. But in general, VIX has been trading within this range of, we could basically put 43 uh, also here. So in the next few months in, into 2023, we'll mostly see the VIX increase. If we drop below here, and then the another level is down here, that's roughly 2016. And I would be very surprised if we basically broke towards those levels there, because that means that uncertainty in the market will be much less. and uh, Considering uh, the outlook is very uh, grave for the world economy and interest rates are still increasing, that should increase uncertainty and therefore it would be make no sense that we'll drop down towards this level. MACD is bearish, stochastic is bearish at this point, and uh, the bearish and the RSI is flat. 
with a little room to the downside and a lot of room to the upside. So most likely this is what we're gonna see and also here and also here we'll have a crossing of this and, and we'll see the VIX continue increasing. So let's look at the 10 year. 10 year is bouncing off the 20 simple moving average, which it has been doing uh, fairly for, um, for 2022. Here we bounced, did break down below here. No, we, didn't break. we did bounce here, broke down, broke down towards the 20 below that. And then we had a massive rally. And now we're also again settling, settling up to 20 simple moving average. So, most likely we can continue and going higher as interest rates will continue to um, rise and that of course will be negative for stocks indices and so on macd is still bearish stochastic is bearish and the rsi is also bearish the momentum is definitely to the downside still if we drop below here then the 50 is all the way down here of roughly a three so hope you find helpful you want to support channel by subscribing hit the like button above to see our news videos and please do your own due diligence before investing in the market. Good luck and thank you very much.